So, folks at home, welcome back to another episode of Jamin's Daily. Recently started playing video games with my sons, who are nine and seven. And we've been using Xbox, and we were using Game Pass for a while, but I got rid of the Game Pass. And so we were left with the, some of the games that we had purchased or games that are free. And a game that is free is Fortnite. At least it's free to play. Now they get you with all kinds of in-game purchases. But it was a free game. And James, my younger son, started playing it. He was playing it at a friend's house. And then now he plays it here. And I have to admit, I never played Fortnite. I'm 40 years old, so I kind of missed it. But now I do. I'm a 40-year-old man playing Fortnite against probably 7-year-old kids. Because my 7-year-old kid is playing. And he's better than me. He's actually won a couple. He's, he's won the Battle Royale three different times. And I actually came in second once, but I wasn't even a close second. Like I was second, and then the guy who won destroyed me. But, you know, the cool thing is my dad was not a gamer. Okay, my dad's old school. He never played video games in his life. All right. Now, I'm actually 41, but I grew up playing video games. Now, I don't have much time and I don't make time. Playing video games isn't like a priority, so I rarely play. But now I play with my kids, which is cool because I think it would have been cool if my dad had played video games with me. And some to some degree, I think I just, it, it's so bizarre thinking about playing video games with my dad now, but it's weird. You see how that is I'm like that. It's weird for me to think of that, but it won't be for my own son later on. Think about how he used to play video games with dad. And the good thing is that we've only spent, I've spent under $10. We've been playing for a couple of weeks. We, we bought, I spent eight ninety nine plus tax. It was under $10. We bought a thousand V bucks. It was just enough to get a, a, a skin because we had been using the default skins. One of which is a woman. We had to play as a girl, which my little boys at their age, they're like, was not the coolest thing ever. So I was like, okay, we'll, we'll buy some V bucks so we can get a skin, which we did. And that turned out just just figuring out how to how to create an epic account just figuring out how to use that gift card was difficult enough but we made it happen all right there was a lot of pressure on me my son was like you got to figure this out dad we just spent 10 dollars v bucks we need a new skin so i figured it out and the cool thing about now that he's kind of obsessing over uh Fortnite is I can use it as a as a tool as blackmail. I said, listen, if you do not clean your room, if you do not do your homework, if you don't X, Y, or Z, you're grounded for, for Fortnite. No Xbox. And boy, does that get him to shape up. So I think my new found um, hobby with my son. My, Jude plays too. Jude will play. Uh, but he's more into some other, ga other games that are a little easier for him. But he loves to watch. He loves to sit there and watch us play. And it's fun to see J James play. He gets all intense. And when he loses, they get all, oh, not fair, not fair. I already told him, listen, no crying. Don't be saying not fair. Because when you, you know, defeat your opponents and you sneak up and kill them, it, is that not fair? Right? And he looks at me like, oh. But does it see when there was, when he won the Battle Royale, he would have thought, like, the joy that little kids, you know, the joy in little kids is like, oh, it melted my heart. I was so happy for him. And I was excited too, because, like, when it was one on one, he's like, Dad, oh. we thought he could win. And he was, and then he started actually battling it out. And then he barely won. It was pretty epic. And a great memory, which is why I'm playing video games with my kids. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Jamin's Daily. 
podcast family vlog. I'm gonna try to get a guest on the show here sooner and later. I've been trying to get Seth, executive producer, but I guess he's too busy for me, so I don't know. I'll keep you updated on that. But until the next time, stay tuned because the best is yet to come.